This is Matrix Lord 212, and I want to talk about the Sorrow Separation uh, book series uh, that I started on May 5th, 2010. Um, you know, my first book was Sorrow Separation. Uh, it was all my pain put into poetry form uh, so you guys could feel as I felt. And, you know, through my my pain and suffering, uh, you could gather strength from it and, and come out of um, your depression or you could learn something, whether it be uh, if you um, something similar happened to you, whether you lost a, a loved one, you went through a divorce or a breakup, uh, you lost a child, you lost a, a father or a parent. Um, you know, you will, you would um, gain something from the book, and um, you know, by book's end, it gets into a happier tone, which leads into. Um, the second book, which was Tomorrow's Song. Uh, now, Tomorrow's Song, uh, it was always meant to be a reversal of the cover. Um, you know, the guys in the field with the kids, and, you know, uh, there'll be a girl in the rain reaching out. Now, a lot of people thought that um, the girl that was in the rain was the same exact girl uh, as the one that was the mother of the children in the first book, and that is not the case. Um, you know, people really didn't understand or, or knew this until uh, book four came out. But, you know, after book two, it was uh, the prequel was released, which was Winds of Change. Uh, and it was, a, it was a mixture of, you know, uh, the best of sorrow and the best of tomorrow molded into one. Um, you know, when it led you to uh, book four, which, like as I stated before, was Destiny's Calling. Um, now, in a lot of my books, um, I'll always throw in the title of the next book into, um, like, the previous book. So, in Winds of Change, the last poem is Destiny's Calling. And, you know, now I was just getting messages from Scribe, and yes, uh, some of the poems can be read backwards. Uh, Destiny's Calling, you know, from the last line of the poem to the first line, it could be read backwards, and it, 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 it fits, you know, symmetrically, basically. It fits, like, perfectly reading them either way. Um, you know, so there's a lot of different uh, things that you got to look for. Uh, eventually, you know, if the if the series really takes off, there will be probably like a companion book or something to explain uh, just about every single um, hidden thing thrown into the books that you guys would uh, try to figure out. Like, I mean, if you read the series, you'll see um, that, you know, you'll know full well uh, if Nine Years Time Book Nine is the final chapter. You will know right away if you read um, all the books, uh, or even some of them actually, because I do throw in hints and clues, and you know, especially um, you know, Destiny's Calling, the front and back cover, I revealed the name of, of future book titles, so um, you know, you you figure it out yourself. But um, and also too, the thing was, I didn't want the books to flow in an even timeline. So uh, every book is like out of order, in other words. So in other words, um, you know, book seven is the most current in the chronological order. Uh, but then, you know, uh, you know, Sorrow Separation would be like 10 years ago. So it's like you, you would really have to read every book and every poem and it all fits together like one big piece, one big piece to a bigger, bigger story. Now, just when you think you have all the answers, there's more questions, obviously, and that will lead uh, to more speculation, you know, and this is special surprise ending at the end of book nine, nine years time, which will, you know, if the book really becomes this huge, um, which I'm hoping, um, you know, people are really going to be clamoring for more. I mean, and my whole thing is I, I created these book series um, from my heart, you know, and I wish there was a book when I was going through sorrow, separation, when I was going through depression, that would have helped me, that I could have related to. I could have felt, okay, that this person's on the same level, this person is going through the same pain. Like, And you know what? I mean, these books are meant to help people. Um, if anybody would say, oh my God, he's in it for the money, that's a load of baloney, because the amount of money I put into this book series, uh, I have not gotten the returns that I put in, and it hasn't been about that. If it was about that, 
and be a different story, but it hasn't been because, you know, I don't know if you knew anybody that would publish um, just about nine books in two years. So, I mean, you know, I put the books out so fast that uh, each one wouldn't have generated the money back to pay itself after a while. I mean, originally, Sorrow did so good that it paid for Tomorrow Song, you know, and Tomorrow Song did good to pay for Winds of Change. But then after a while, you know, I kept popping them out and I kept going into my own money. So, um, you know, it isn't about the money with me. Uh, but at some point in time, you know, you got a question, you're going to say, okay, uh, you know, are you going to drain up, or, you know, everything you have, um, you know, or are you going to let the book speak for themselves and generate an income? So um, there will be different book series out. There will be a science fiction novel out. And you guys are going to have to figure it out for yourself if there's going to be another book in a Sorrow Separation series. Um, you know, so. I'm going to leave that to you guys, uh, but I do hope that you guys enjoy uh, the book series, uh, and I thank everybody for reading them and, and buying them and, you know, making reviews about them on YouTube. It's very much appreciated, uh, you know, and I'm, you know, full steam ahead. I mean, there's so many things going on in my head, so many books that are not published, and, you know, they're different series. I mean, my sci-fi novel is not going to be one book. Okay, that's it's going to be a series of books. So, um, you know, I don't do really any of these books as individual by themselves. They're all part of uh, their own series. So, um, and you may think it's crazy, but you know, we got the Sarah Separation series. Then we got I'm not going to tell you another series. Then we got another series, and then we got the sci-fi series. So technically, there's like four. I always get it backwards four different series I'm working on all over the place um, so you know I'm very very excited about um, this new book I'm writing very positive and it's very it's really gonna surprise people uh, that they're not going to expect it um, but you know the sci-fi is going to take up a lot of my time too but it's not going to take up all my time so there will be uh, another uh, poetry series slash story series uh, and you'll have to see what it's going to be about uh, but it's you know I get very excited because you know I really put my heart and soul into it and seeing it form and, and reading your own book and seeing your own poster and business cards and postcards and then articles about it, it is very very exciting um, yes sometimes it gives me a big headache because things do go wrong um, covers go wrong um, color coordination goes wrong like with the books the, the, the publication goes wrong the websites go wrong you know and it's a constant constant thing that doesn't go away I mean just because you know tomorrow's song or winds of change or destiny's calling or lost away is just because they're published doesn't mean that that's the end of it I mean you have to constantly monitor making sure the websites are running making sure the descriptions right for the websites uh, making sure the books are represented properly are they run the proper order are they I mean it's just so much work entailed and you know after eight books it, it gets really really difficult after a while and the biggest problem I have too is the fact that I have a different team um, you know on different books so in other words I mean it may not be the full complete team I mean I always have the same cover designer because I think she's absolutely brilliant um, and I've had you know the publication specialist and you know the project manager like so uh, but then again I will have different marketing specialists I have a different um, channel specialist you know and, and there's a lot of you, you would basically need a notebook um, to write down all the 15 people that work on your book at one time because it's not always the same you know and every year I have to maintain the website to make sure they're up and running you know and I have to make sure nobody takes my domain name different things you know and you know it's a big big you know cum drum <laughs> it doesn't ever end so and I like keeping busy I like keep the excitement I like you know, going on Google and Google myself and seeing, okay, did they put Dark Days on there? Did they, did the website for Dark Days up? Is 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 Greatness and Glory okay? I mean, you know, it's really really interesting. So, um, you know, I'm glad that uh, people have taken a liking to the series on YouTube. It it makes me feel, you know, excited and and happy, and and the books will um, evolve into something else eventually. I mean. I do see 
you know, my sci-fi book series becoming movies. I, you know, I just see it. I, you know, people would think I'm crazy, but like I've seen before the books were created. Uh, I've always envisioned it in my head. I always seen different things like they will come, they will be published, and you know, it could have been you know, like back when I was working years and years ago in a store, I. I, I always said oh, I'm writing a book and people are like oh yeah yeah me too buddy you know and like nobody would take me seriously and I've always had it in my head like this book's going to be made this book's going to be made I always had the name Winds of Change is going to be a book and you know since I was like a teenager I was going to make a book Winds of Change and it was like you know it, it was in the head like I had the names all in there and I never never revealed them because I was always worried about somebody stealing them until I got it copyrighted so um, you know, in, in the future fact, when I wrote in my science fiction novel, I always mentioned winds of change. So, you know, it's very it's something to think about. It's, you know, it's pretty interesting uh, things. But eventually, like there'll be a comp uh, a companion book to Sorrow Separation series. And if I can give a few hints about um, what's in some of the books, if you guys are interested, um, what I usually try to do is I try to put the next book title thrown hidden into the book now with the sorrow separation the first book um the next to the last poem the last word was song and then the final poem was called tomorrow so i kind of threw it in there like and people didn't even know what really was going on but tomorrow's song was there and then at the end the last poem of tomorrow's song was winds of change and when the last poem winds of change was destiny's calling and there you go. It's just, you know, there. and then in, with book four, Destiny's Calling, I threw a lot of different book titles, uh, you know, on the front and back cover and some hidden inside. And if you read Sorrow Separation, you know, you'll look at it and you'll be like, oh, my God, he mentioned Nine Years Time in his first book. Oh, my God, he mentioned Dark Days. Oh, my God, he mentioned, you know, like they're all in there, you know, because I always had it in my head what they were going to be, you know. So, you know, certain books later, later on, you know, they'll have big, different book titles, and be like, oh, okay. So, I mean, you know, like I was explaining to um, my friend, uh, I just subscribed now, uh, Destiny's Calling Poem could be read um, from the last line to the first line. So, in other words, it could be read backwards. Uh, and it, and it's just as beautiful. I mean, you know, there's some, some poems that, you know, it, it just, like, it's... You know, some things are like different coded and, and you know, it's a lot of diff different interesting things in there. So, um, you know, and if you read each poem, you can get it. Like, you know, it's like, oh, wait a minute. He's talking about what happened like five years ago in this poem. Oh, wait, he's talking about what happened last year. Oh, wait, you know, because it pieces together. Like, I mean, you know, after a while, you know what, what character is what, you know, you know, what they've done how they affected my, you know, the, the character of the man of nothing, um, you know, and, and you'll see the good and the evil and and the matter of faith and believing in God and different things. It's all in there. Um, so I'm also experimenting, too, with this video to see if it actually goes beyond 15 minutes. Now, my friend, uh, Dr. Freedom, has said that, uh, you know, they fixed the problem. So I'm going to find out in about three minutes. But, um, you know, the book's all the covers are really uh, a life of their own, except for the one thing I do regret is with Sorrow Separation Tomorrow Song, the covers were so, so similar. Um, they were like basically reversed, but I, they were different in their own aspect. But the problem is, is when they were on a bookshelf, let's say in Borders, um, people thought that they were the same book, unfortunately. And the color schematic, I should have changed the colors or whatever, but... Um, you know, it's not that really of a regret because I always wanted it to be that way, but it's just a shame that people, sometimes when they pass the book, they, they just glance at it quick and they think that those two books were exactly the same or similar. So uh, the cover of Winds of Change was completely different and, and bright colors and everything. And, you know, and then Destiny's Calling, I made it so complex, the cover. And, you know, my cover designer, she actually got what I wanted and she did it better. I mean, you know, she knew what I was looking for. So, um, you know, she's been doing the covers, I would say, since number four. And, you know, her covers are absolutely stunning. I mean, Loss of Ways, she captured it right on the cover. I mean, you know, the character of Man of Nothing, like down and out on the ground, you know, and, you know, the angel, the crystal angel reaching out to him. And, 
you know, everything's going wrong in his life, you know, and, and Lost of Ways and Dark Days was always connected uh, in a lot of poems that, that those two books are put together. Um, you know, I mean, they're all connected, the books, but, you know, Lost of Ways and Dark Days and Sorrow Separation, they're all around very closely tied together. Um, so, Winds of Change also. So, um, and then there's books that are like far out there, like, you know, Tomorrow's Song is supposed to be the future, you know, past nine years time, um, Destiny's Calling, the future, well, at the time it was the future, but now it's not, obviously, so, Greatness and Glory is, you know, 2011, so that would be beyond nine years time, so, um, you know, I hope you guys uh, could see all the hard work and dedication I put into the books, uh, and you could see my hidden messages, and you know, figure out just like where these characters are going. And just like when you think you know what's going to happen next, um, well, you'll see. It, 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 you'll, you will be absolutely shocked and totally not know what's going to happen next. So, um, you know, and, and, and art imitates life and light imitates art. So, all right. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed the Sorrow Separation series. And. Uh, I'm still going to be writing. I got a lot of projects all lined up, and you're going to be surprised to see what's going to come from me. So, uh, besides that, I'm still going to be making my videos and doing my thing. So, thanks for su subscribing and watching my my videos, and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.